a summer day in 1999. High school sophomore Tyler Leeson is out on one of his routine prospecting runs. He's been hunting fossils on his family land since he was practically a toddler. As a teenager, he has already headed 20 dinosaur excavations. But nothing could prepare him for what he finds protruding from the rocky hillside. I followed the, the bone fragments up the little gully and I saw two spinal bones sticking out of the hill. Nothing unusual there. Well-preserved dinosaur bones are scattered all over Hell Creek. These were different. I knocked off a little piece of what I thought was just sandstone and I, I looked at it and it had a weird pattern to it. And so I brought the piece of sandstone back to the lab and after hours and hours of slowly brushing it, the scales started to appear. Leeson held in his hands the scaly skin of an animal that had been extinct for 65 million years. Even more intriguing, the skin retained its 3D shape. The skin hadn't collapsed in around the bone. And at that point, I knew that we had a 3D dinosaur mummy. I was absolutely thrilled. They dubbed the amazing find Dakota, and the excavation goes into full swing. When you first lay eyes upon such a remarkable specimen, you are absolutely gobsmacked. How can you not be excited? It's an incredible find. The fossil is a hadrosaur, a 40-foot, three-and-a-half-ton herbivore. This dino roamed the lush landscape of the late Cretaceous. Though they were one of T-Rex's favorite meals, they were also one of the most successful dinosaurs of the time. More hadrosaur fossils had been found than any other dinosaur. But this one is very special, if not in life, then in death. Rather than just fossilized bones and teeth, its skin, tissues, and organs somehow survived across the eons. Dinosaur fossils are usually isolated bones. Occasionally, we're very lucky and get a partial skeleton. In exceptional circumstances, we get a complete skeleton articulated. That is the absolute 10 out of 10 for a dinosaur. Dinosaur mummies come in off the scale. These are so rare. So rare and so brimming with scientific promise that even a single dinosaur mummy has the potential to change our understanding of all dinosaurs. From their skeletons, scientists know how big they were, but without tissue and flesh to fill them out, they don't really know how the animals looked. From the size and shape of a dinosaur's leg bones, scientists have estimated how these animals moved, but without muscles, they can't know how fast. By comparing the bones of some animals with others, we have discovered some 300 different species of dinosaurs. But without genes and proteins, we can't say for sure how they came about or what they evolved into. A dinosaur mummy with its tissues frozen in time will give researchers the chance to investigate the inner workings of these ancient animals, opening a rare window on how they lived. It is quite fair to say that our dinosaur mummy makes many other dinosaurs look like roadkill, simply because the evidence we're getting from our creature is so complete compared to the disjointed sort of skeletons that we're usually having to draw conclusions from. Scientists experiment on Dakota's home turf in order to establish the environment in which it died. After reviewing this data, along with the sediments that comprise the mummy, Scientists think that the animal died in or near a body of water, submerged quickly enough to escape scavengers and the nastiest of microbes, and was covered over and compressed by a continuous supply of sediment. It's probably a very rare event, but by understanding that event, keying into the position in the environmental conditions which would have created such a creature, if we can nail that down, this could be a key to unlocking a box full of dinosaur mummies.